Welcome back to our series of training videos devoted to the Acronis Files Cloud. This series consists of several complimentary videos designed especially for novice service providers who do not have any experience with the Acronis Files Cloud. In this video, we will show you step-by-step -step how a managed service provider can customize the Acronis Files Cloud user interface according to the business needs of their customers. So let's get started. We assume that you have already signed up for the Acronis Files Cloud. Let's log in to the Acronis Files Cloud. Depending on the number of services you've signed up for and the status of the management console, you can face three possible use cases. As a reminder, the management console is a sophisticated web-based tool that you can use to trace and manage all of your Acronis services. You can enable or disable the management console anytime for a specific company administrator or user by changing his or her role. Disabling the management console might make sense for those customers who signed up for just one service or have simple organizational structure without any branches or subsidiaries. The first use case is when you signed up just for Acronis Files Cloud Service and the management console is enabled. In this case, you will see a screen with two icons, the Management Console and Sync and Share. Navigate to the Management Console, click on the Sync and Share tab on the top of the page, and press the Configure Service button. You will see the basic Acronis Files Cloud UI. Navigate to the User Profile and select Administration Console. The second use case is when you signed up just for the Acronis Files Cloud and the Management Console is disabled. In this case, you will see the basic Acronis Files Cloud UI. Navigate to the User Profile and select Administration Console. Finally, the third use case is when you signed up for several Acronis services and the Management Console is enabled. In this case, you will see a screen with several icons including the Sync and Share icon. Navigate to the Management Console, click on the Sync and Share tab at the top of the page, and press the Configure Service button. You'll see a basic Acronis Files Cloud UI. Navigate to the User Profile and select Administration Console. As soon as you've launched the Administration Console, navigate to the section 
sync and share, and then general restrictions. Here you can specify the maximum allowed size for shared files. Moreover, you can define the file types that are not allowed for sharing, for example, .exe files. Navigate to the section Sharing Restrictions. Here you can amend the following settings. First, you can allow collaborators to invite other users via email. Second, you can enable single file sharing with both internal and external users. Moreover, you can allow the shared file links to automatically expire after a certain time. Finally, you can specify the conditions for expiring shared folders. Navigate to the section File Purging Policies. Here you can specify the so-called purging conditions or the rules for deleting files. By default, if a user deletes a file from the Acronis Files Cloud, it will be preserved in the repository and can be restored at any time. However, you can specify the conditions for automatic permanent deletion of files and file revisions. It should be noted that purging settings are valid only for deleted files. In other words, if a user has not deleted a file or file revision, by default it will be preserved in the repository indefinitely, regardless of the purging settings. However, additionally you can allow users to permanently delete files and their revisions by ticking the corresponding checkbox. This feature might be especially valuable for EU customers looking for GDPR compliance. Navigate to the section User Expiration Policies. Here you can specify the conditions for automatic disabling of external users. For example, you can disable a user if he or she is not logged in for a long time. Navigate to the section Audit Log and then Log. Here you can view all the attempts of users to log in the Acronis Files Cloud from their corporate or personal devices. You can filter the presented information by user, device, time period, error severity, and other criteria. Moreover, you can export the log file in TXT, CSV, and XML formats. Navigate to the section Audit Log and then Settings. Here you can specify the conditions for permanent deletion of old log entries. For example, it might be advisable to delete log entries that are older than six months since they have a limited value. Navigate to the section General Settings and then Service. Here you can specify the conditions for receiving automatic notifications from the Acronis Files Cloud. In particular, you can amend the default service name that will appear in the notifications, audit log language, and session timeout in minutes. Navigate to the section General Settings and then SMTP. In this section, you can amend the default metadata of notifications automatically received from the platform, such as from name and from email address. Navigate to the section General Settings and then Email Templates. Here you can customize all of the emails sent out by the Cronus Files Cloud using HTML and text formatted email templates. If you would like to customize your template body at a fine grain level, you should use Liquid, an open source template language. Please notice that these settings will be applied for all of your email templates. Navigate to the section General Settings and then Web Preview and Editing. In this section, you can enable previewing files within the web client interface. This is a handy feature that allows you to preview a file without downloading it onto your local machine. Finally, navigate to the section General Settings and then Web UI Customization. As a service provider, you can rebrand or change the appearance of your service for the end customer. In particular, you can change the UI color scheme and logos used on the login page, mail client page, and administration page. Well, that's it with customizations. See you in the next video.